Hey yo, what's up? It's the Kush Man back in the mix with some more tips and tricks. Today we're going to be talking about Rhythmic, one of the newest additions to Propellerhead's Reason 10. Just came out in an update last week, so I'm going to show you how to use it so you can get started quick and get it going. Let's get it popping. Alright, so here we are. Already got Ritmic loaded up. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to Players over here, grab your drum sequencer, and just drop it right on top here, and it's going to sync it up for you. I'm going to go with the Breakbeat 2 patch here, just to make things quick and easy. Go ahead and run it. And right here is where you select your different drum kits for Rhythmic. I'm going to go ahead and go with Hip Hop 2. Let's check that out. Yeah, I think this Hip Hop kit, the regular one, is a little better for the tutorial. So we'll stick with this one. This thing's pretty awesome. It does a lot of different things. We'll start out by showing you the filter here first whichever one you select down here is going to be the one you're adjusting and it'll show you the waveform will change up here and also the button will light up so we'll go with the kick and to adjust the low cut you could either drag from here or just click right here and drag it and the high cut as well And right here, you could also adjust the waveform. Dragging this cuts the sample. You could adjust the pitch. And you could even fade in and fade out. and the pan as well. If you want to select a different drum, you just click right down here and it loads up the different drums available. I don't know as of yet if you can add your own drums to it, so this might be a limitation, just being able to use what's here, but this is how you change your sample right here. And I'll show you the master effects here. This is the delay. You could adjust the feedback just by dragging here or dragging here as well. The time and the mode, stereo or ping pong. Right here is the reverb. 
you adjust the decay right here. You can choose your mode. Uh, you can adjust the low cut as well. And also the high cut. So let's go ahead and put something on hard reverb so you can hear that. Sounds pretty cool. Let me show you the same thing with the delay. And here you got your master compressor. All the tracks go to this. I wish you could um, compress each individual track by itself, but this goes to everything. There's no adjustment here for it. So you adjust the threshold right here by pulling up or down. The ratio. Attack and release. Right now I'm just adjusting the compressor to go with my game staging. Yeah, so that's it. That's Rhythmic from Reason, and it's pretty awesome. I like it a lot. I wish it had a few features, like I said, the individual compression. And there's one more thing I'll show you real quick. You could flip it around here, and you could also output each individual track, and outputting bypasses the internal effects. So. If you output, you can technically set your own compression and whatnot for each track if you want to. Yeah, so that's it. Rhythmic. Yeah, so that's Rhythmic. I hope this tutorial showed you everything you needed to get started quick. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.